What exactly have you learned? Uh, prosecutors at the Justice Department have begun putting together the legal memo the, to basically rationalize why they're not going to bring federal civil rights charges against Mr. Wilson. It's a very high bar to make one of these cases. You have to ha be, have some of his mindset. You have to have a, he has to be able to prove his history of, of being, of having racial issues. And the evidence here does not support it that. It seems like they moved pretty quickly, relatively speaking, on this, right? Well, the FBI really pushed hard in the days after the shooting. They sent about 40 agents into Ferguson. They interviewed about 200 people, and they found no real evidence to support to support the civil rights case, and that's sort of where we are. Joey Jackson, uh, what do you think? Uh, are you surprised? I'm not surprised for the following reason, Wolf. In any case, what you do is you examine two things. You examine the law and you examine the facts. Now, remember, in a civil rights prosecution, the bar is extraordinarily high. What do I mean? I mean, you have to show an intentional deprivation of a civil right. And what is that right? The right to remain freely. But when you look at the statute and when you look at the jury instruction, it says you have had to act willfully, that is, with motive that is of an improper purpose, with malice, and with wickedness. And as a result of that, it certainly would be problematic if at the state level you can't get an indictment to show at the federal level that you would be able to move forward. It doesn't surprise me. Now, the other thing, when you look at the facts of it, and remember, you have to show intent, not recklessness, that he was reckless in his actions, that he was negligent or careless in his actions. And when you have conflicting facts that have come out of that grand jury, were Michael Brown's hands up? were the hands down? Did he grab for his waistband? Did he not grab for his waistband? What kind of interaction was there initially at the car? What did that lead to? And so based upon the many questions and based upon the standard of that I just discussed, beyond a reasonable doubt, it would be very, tr very difficult, Wolf, to move forward federally with a civil rights charge. Antonio French, you're there. How is this going to play the reaction you're, that we're likely to see in St. Louis County and Ferguson and elsewhere? Yeah, I think you have a lot of people who will be disappointed if this does turn out to be the case. Uh, I think uh, the community and the family uh, wanted a day in court, an opportunity to see all the evidence laid out, cross-examined, uh, and it looks like that that's not going to happen. Um, I hope we do not have any violence uh, as a result of this. Uh, the next steps, I think, are uh, legislative change, uh, try to make sure that in cases like this we get a special prosecutor by law, uh, and to create a new level of civilian oversight over police departments here in St. Louis. Uh, but I hope it remains peaceful.